A short video from shopstuff.co.uk showing how to use the SD card with the XEA Sharp 207, 217 and 307. Firstly take a standard SD card and insert it into the slot in front of the machine. Once you've done this, bring the machine out of sleep mode by pressing any button. Come back to our main menu by pressing the mode. If you continue to press the mode, it will jump down to SD card mode, which is number seven. Press the TLNS to enter into this. And the first thing, if you're using this for the first time, you will need to format the card. So simply press four and total. Press OK. This will access the SD card and then format it erasing all data from that particular card. Once this has been done, you then need to save or create a folder on it. Simply press 3 to go into folder control and create a folder. Enter the name of the folder and click OK. Again, this will access the card, and once it's accessed, create the folder on the actual card itself. Once the folder has been created on the card, press the escape button to go back, and number one to start the saving. Click one to save to the card, and now it allows you to choose. If you want to save everything to the card, you would choose five, or the sales data, just one. Simply press 5 and press OK. This will access the card and then the arrow will appear along the screen showing that the data is being saved onto the card. Once this is done, you can then save other data. For example, in this case, sales data. Again, this will access the SD card and will show an arrow processing across the screen to show you how far it is achieved. Once this has been completed, it will go back to the save menu on the screen. The card can now be removed and taken to a PC for loading. Once the data has been put onto the SD card, now you can transfer it onto your PC. Load the card into your PC and open up the folder. Here you'll see the folder that you've created. And when you click into this, you'll see the different data you can extract from the folders. Click on the sales and here now we can see the data that we created earlier. Double click on this and again choose the type of report that you want to do. In this case it will be a department report. Double click on the department and as you can see this will open up into Excel. The data is shown with the department number this obviously if you've changed the description will be shown the amount of transactions into that department and the amount of financial money taken into that each individual department. Once the data is in this it can be saved or emailed as required. Thank you for looking at our video from shopstuff.co.uk.